Hello everybody, welcome to Potsdam at the Leibniz Institute for Agricultural Engineering and Bioeconomy. We are here in the Department of Bioengineering where we are doing a lot of research in the field of utilization of biomass for mainly non-food use to develop and optimize bioprocesses in a lot of national and international research projects and for more details please follow me inside of the facility. This is a wide range of different feedstock we are using here for our bioprocesses depending on the structure, the composition and the properties of those different feedstocks we need to do uh, different steps before. So it could be things like municipal solid waste or it could be a wheat straw material, it could be a bit more exotic sugar gain, bagas or also textile residues. So a lot of different things which needs to be converted into sugars at the very end to be filled into that fermenter behind me where the microbes can do the job. Okay guys, that's the so-called upstream processing which is very important in order to pre-treat our different feedstocks after separation, especially the lignocellulosic type into the three main components, lignin, hemicellulose and cellulose. We can go for the enzymatic hydrolysis of the polysaccharides in order to make the sugars out of it. Depending on the structure, it could be useful to have such a filtration unit to separate bigger particles before or after the enzymatic hydrolysis. It depends on the composition and the properties in particular. Okay, now we are in the core unit of a bioengineering department here in that pilot scale fermenter. We use different microbes to produce bio-based chemicals. One of our main product at the moment is lactic acid, which is produced by several bacteria strains, for instance, lactobacilli or bacillus coagulans. And um, in our fermenter, we have such a dirty liquid which needs to be processed afterwards to end up with such a high quality, pure final product for the subsequent polymerization into PLA, for instance, which is already well known as a bioplastic. One of the main goals of the optimization in bioprocess development is to increase the process performance. In order to do so, we are running continuous mode fermentation processes with a so-called cell recycle, which is done by such hollow fiber membranes to increase the biomass concentration inside of the system. And that leads to a much higher performance in the end. Coming from the fermentation step, where we end up with a dirty liquid like that, the so-called fermentation broth, we need some different steps of purification in order to make the final product at the very end. One part of that downstream processing is the electrodialysis, which is connected to some other filtration steps based on different membranes. After the electrodialysis, we have some ion exchange units to separate different impurities, which are coming from the feedstock or from the fermentation broth itself. And in the very end, we end up, if we are successful with such a colorless liquid of high concentrated lactic acid. Thank you. 